Hello everybody and welcome to today's MCPE Redstone Tutorial. I uh, haven't actually seen a lot of Redstone Tutorials for the Pocket Edition out lately. Um, I'm a big fan of Redstone, um, but not a lot of uh, Pocket Edition Redstone. Um, and because of some of the different mechanics that you get with the Pocket Edition and the Redstone within, uh, you end up getting quite a different outcome. So, uh, we're going to see one of those today with a unique block, the Observer block, and how we can make a super simple uh, sugar cane, as well as a not so simple, uh, a little bit more buffed up sugar cane farm. Uh, both of these are going to be AFKable, uh, however, one of them is resource friendly. The other one, fairly resource friendly, however, um, is something that is a little bit more beefed up. So, let's get started today. Uh, we'll go ahead and start out with one chest at the bottom. Now, sometimes you may want to find you dig down to uh, conceal this. Throw a hopper on top. You will have to enter into sneak mode to do so. Alrighty. And then, we are going to place a nice piece of sand. It can be a regular block as well. Uh, however, because of the nature of Pocket Edition, uh, just like the console, you do need to go into a block to enter sneak mode to place the thing on top of the hopper. So, we place a piece of sand, we place a rail on top of the sand, and we place a minecart with the hopper on top of the sand. Uh, go ahead and break the sand below the minecart hopper, not the hopper to drop the hopper. Alrighty, so I do typically like to go up a little bit with this and then I like to drop a piece of sand onto the minecart hopper. It just helps to uh, conceal it and also make it harder for it to be moved. Alright, so um, we are going to be planting our sugar cane uh, and with this uh, we do want a, another hopper to be kind of sneakily hidden into that minecart hopper right there. So, uh, find the block, not the minecart hopper, and hit that, and then you'll be able to place your hopper into it. All right, so, from here, uh, I am gonna go ahead and place in a few additional blocks here, just to kind of surround this area a little bit. Uh, you can use whatever blocks you want. Right now I'm using red chisel. Uh, however, you do not need the red chisel. You can use whatever blocks you do prefer. Uh, now that we've got this nice spacing around here though, we will place in another sand block right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab a water block to replace my sand. And in we go. Then we place this nice little piece of uh, it right there. Wonderful. So. Once we have that, we can go ahead and place this right here. Piston facing inward. And then with that piston facing inward, we're gonna go ahead and place a block and block. Now with the observer block, the only way the observer block actually goes in is if you go ahead and place the observer block directly onto the block. Now what you place it onto is going to be the block that it is observing. Um, you can't in any way other than targeting that block uh, that you're looking to observe. So it's kind of, um, there's some downfalls, like with the, the droppers and, and everything else like that, you kind of, depending on how you're placing it, change its position, not with the observer. It only will observe based off the block you place it against. Um, once you've got that set up though, you can place one block beneath your piston there and find your redstone. Uh, once you have your piece of redstone and you place it right here, uh, you are done. As soon as you break this, piston goes and you are set. So when this grows up, it is going to grow and is going to break off. The minecart with the hopper will pick it up off the sand and the hopper there will pick it out of the water. So I do like to encase mine in some glass just to make sure everything uh, is nice and uh, no drops fly off everywhere, but you don't have to. Uh, I do recommend it, like I said, so drops don't fly. Uh, but once you have that fully encased, you are pretty much all done. Uh, now, 
if you do want to beef this design up, uh, there is a really great way to beef the design up by simply adding in uh, a specific pocket edition only feature. So with the sugar cane in the pocket edition, you do actually have options to be able to use bone meal in order to grow. So in an effort to show you this farm working, I am going to bone meal this. And when I do, you will be able to go ahead and see it working. So grab my bone meal out and hit it. There it goes, it works. And it works. <coughs> Bless me. Then we go and head down in here and we can see there's our minecart from before and there it is. Yeah. So when it does grow naturally, you will see that it will just work. Now one of the other things that we can do here is we can actually go into here and pull ourselves out some additional materials here. I do like to use my dispenser for the bone meal. Uh, and then we are going to be needing a bit of comparator. We're going to need a repeater and we are going to need some redstone. All right, so from the back here where you can see just barely into the corner of that one, you may need to break your glass here in order to get this done, but we will place in a dispenser back here, placing the correct way. There we go. Off of this, we are going to need to do two different things. So we need to create a, hot, um, a clock. So with the comparator off the back of the dispenser, which will sense items in that, one repeater off of that in order to be able to extend the pulse. And we'll go ahead and place a block up in front of the repeater with redstone coming back. So that is a clock. As soon as items go inside of this, we will be able to see it running. So if you do place in a hopper uh, right up against that dispenser right there, uh, it is recommended in order to be able to, to fill items in. Uh, if you're going to clean it up nice, you may need to experience another thing right against that hopper in order to be able to get the best result. However, I'm just going to throw a chest on top for now. So, we do need to be able to fire this off as well. So we're going to go ahead and place in a repeater going inside of that and then one little addition from here off to here. Simple as that. Now, as soon as I put bone meal inside of this, it will start automatically firing. So let's go ahead and pull out a little bit of bone meal and test that out. So, the bone meal comes down and goes inside of the chest. Now, look right at it. There it goes. Easy as pie. And I put in a whole stack of bone meal. Uh, on survival, you can get even more. Let's go ahead and clean up the area as well because I do like to have it nice and clean. So we'll go ahead and hide the redstone. Conspiracy, hide the redstone. All right, now, because of the way the redstone is here in the back, you can either choose to be it open or to block out an extra block all the way around. All right, so it does sound like it did go through all of the bone mail. Now let's take a peek down here in the chest. Whole stack. Whole stack out of a whole stack. Now that seems pretty fair, does it not? Alright. And cleaning it up is all that is required. And uh, just make sure, see this is not one where you have to worry about the redstone getting cut off or anything like that. So uh, you can choose to build it square or you can choose to, to hide things a little bit better. You know, kind of block these off a little bit. But overall, you are pretty much done. Now, if you do have some simpler designs, I'm sure that there may be some out there. Even this design may have been uh, shown before. This is something that I myself did discover. It's possible it's been discovered before. I apologize to anybody who may have created this that I am not crediting. However, um, like I said, it is something that I did discover on my own without any tutorials online and so I figured I would show everybody how to do it. So uh, if you guys do like this go ahead and leave it a like, uh, subscribe if you want to see some more like this and otherwise I hope to see you guys soon. Bye!